Hello YouTube, it's Jack again here from JDRC Network and I have a little update on my Mugen MBX4 Nitro to Electric Conversion. So uh, in the last update I showed how I fit in a uh, battery box here and I got new shocks on it because the old ones were bent. Um, this The update for this one is I got the RC Monster electric motor mount. There's my dog over there. I got the RC Monster electric motor mount. Uh, so far, it's great. I haven't had a problem. Well, I did have one problem installing it. The bottom is a little uh, short, so what I did was I put um, washers underneath, and it's per it fits perfectly. It spins really freely and everything. It's made out of. Uh, it's made really nice, and it has. Uh, I don't know if you can see it that like those lines that kind of go across like along here just kind of goes across. Um, I don't mind that really. I think it looks okay. It makes it look high quality. Uh, so that's just an update for that. Um, as you can see, it removes the two Allen screws there, replaces them with two button head screws. Except, uh, well, it just takes out the Allen screws, replaces these and that one right there with that and that. So there's that. And the other update is I installed a servo just to see what it's like with the servo in it. I kind of destroyed the servo because I moved it too far and it now goes in like full 360 degrees, which the servo is really not supposed to do. Well, it's so it can move freely, and that's not what they're supposed to do. Uh, I took the, I think it's titanium. It's a the radio tray here. There's supposed to be a second servo. It goes right here in place of this. Took the tray out, and I ground it down so it only fits an electric servo like that. Or I mean, it only fits a steering servo instead of the gas servo. And so I think that's it, and that's all I've done so far on this. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, put them in the section below. Uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do, and I'll see you all later.